Hey, it's Randy from Friday's Golf, and as you can see, I'm standing inside the Ping Gold Putter Vault. Now, this is something that I've seen tons of pictures about and some videos, but to actually stand in this room, it's an amazing feeling because there's just there's a lot of gold in here. So I just want to take you guys on a brief tour of the vault. Obviously, I don't have a lot of knowledge as far as what is actually in this room, but I'll try to pull out some of the cool things that I noticed along the way. And I'm going to put on my special glove here because uh, you do have to handle these very carefully because they're just gold plated. And if you get your oils uh, from your hands can actually deteriorate some of the finish. So we want to be very careful in handling these and keep them shimmering gold. So our first stop is actually right when you enter the room to your left there's a wall here that these are just um, kind of milestones and special occasions as far as uh, feats that have been accomplished with uh, ping equipment by their players. Uh, this is my absolute favorite is uh, Louis Oosthuizen's four iron that he used to hole out with at the Masters for an Albatross in 2012. This thing uh, is it, just this is very cool to hold. I like this one a lot. It's the S56 four iron and they actually build these to spec so it's the exact same shaft the same grip the same length the same lie angle so everything in here is actually built to the spec that the player used and if it's a pga tour victory or lpga tour victory uh or on this accomplishment wall they actually get a gold plated replica and they put one in the vault and they give one to the player now if it's a major victory which those are over here this whole wall right there uh you actually get a solid gold putter. So some cool putters on the major wall, uh, obviously Bubba Watson's two victories there. Uh, I did not know that he switched in from 2012 to 2014 from the Redwood to the Answer Milled, but he, he obviously did because they're right here. Also didn't realize that Ernie Ells won his US Open with a ping putter, also cool. And speaking of solid gold putters, I think Suzanne Peterson actually had the right idea. She actually used a dock putter to win her major with, so she got a solid gold dock. This is an enormous putter. You're talking like 60, 70 grand if that was made of solid gold. So that's, uh, that's the best way to go. So if you're going to put or play with a ping putter in a major, don't, don't roll the dice. Just use the biggest, heaviest ping putter that you can find. That way if you do win, bam, bonus right on top of it. Another cool stop here, this is uh, Bubba Watson's wedge that he used in the 2012 Masters when uh, he won during the playoff when he hooked it out of the pine straw, like, you know, 40 yards, whatever it was. Uh, you have the actual, you know, built-up grip that he uses, which this is insane how big this thing is, especially down there in the lower hand. But uh, no idea how he hit that shot, but this is the club that he used to do it. And they told me a question that they get a lot in this room is who has the most putters? It's actually Lee Westwood. I believe it's, he wrote me a note in here somewhere, I think it's like 59 or something like that. But he has a lot of victories. But the cool thing is, I guess it's kind of cool, is that these are his putters right here. And you can see how many different models that guy used to win with. I mean, pretty much any kind of putter they ever made, he had one time won with, which is, is really neat. It looks like he has a lot of wins with uh, you know the answer style heads. He has a lot of wins with these Darbies, which you don't see a lot of anymore. But that's kind of a cool looking putter there. You also notice some putters up around the top of the room here. These are actually all like your long putters or belly putters that they have uh, won with. I think there's only one, if I'm not mistaken, and it's Sherry Steinhauer, 2006. She won the Women's British Open, and this is the only long putter in the major section. Everyone else is one with the more traditional length putter. I lied to you, Webb Simpson, also long putter. I didn't realize that these closets go back super far, so uh, there might be more in here and I'm just completely mistaken, but yeah, Webb Simpson, one long putter right there. Don't anchor him now, you'll get in trouble. So let's walk around. Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you. This is the last person. Get oh, it's stuck. This is the last person I thought would have putters in the gold putter vault, and that's Tiger Woods. He actually has two putters in here for his wins in the U.S. Amateur. Uh, he used, you know, his, you know, ping answer two, which you can see uh, they're identical. It's the same putter. He didn't change. I don't know what if he switched to Scotty Cameron for his 96 victory, but it's not in here, so clearly he didn't use it. But, yeah, he has two putters in the, in the, in the gold vault. I did not, I didn't think he had one in here. He does. And right here, starting here, going down, 
Going all the way down again. Going all the way down again. That's Seve Ballesteros. And I think what's so cool about it is it's all the same putter. Uh, all of his, his PGA championships there, and then obviously he's going to have some over here on this side. Um, Tom Watson, I didn't see this one yet. Tom Watson's British Open. Right there, that's pretty cool. Right here, this, here's Seve's. You can see it's the same model, but right there, that's his uh, 83 Masters. That's really cool. And I think, let me see if I can find this, because this is actually important. 1988 was a significant year for Ping because they actually swept all the majors. 1988, they won the Masters, U.S. Open, British Open, the PGA Championship, and Seve was one of the guys to help them achieve that. So they're all st sitting right here. You have uh, Sandy Lyle with the Masters, Jeff Sluman with the PGA Championship, Seve Ballesteros with the British Open, and Curtis Strange with the U.S. Open. So that is really neat to have all those putters and sitting right next to one another there in just one season for them to be so dominant. Where are we at here? There's so much gold, it's blinding me. One of the craziest things to me is how many people won with like docks. You see these huge putters down here? It's like, sorry, but it's an ugly putter. It's not very pretty looking at all, but they're like scattered throughout this whole vault. You see a bunch of docks. Docs, doc, more docs, doc, doc. There are currently 2,965 gold putters in this vault. It's a lot. There are 101 gold major putters. Unfortunately, it wasn't until 1987 that they actually started giving the players solid gold replicas, so sorry, Tom Watson. This might surprise you. There are actually zero 1A putters in this entire vault. Not a one. Those are all Brooke Henderson's putters there, which is pretty impressive considering how short a time she's been on the LPGA Tour. Louis Oosthuizen, Tom Watson, Lorena Ochoa. So there's your tour of the Ping Gold Putter Vault. Uh, I tried to do a live stream and I apologize. Uh, it wasn't until I was standing in the room ready to stream that I realized that I'm in a vault. So uh, the signal's not very good in here. So it didn't work out, but I wanted to kind of show you guys, this is a very special room. It's, it's, it's a cool place. And if you ever have the chance, if you're ever in Phoenix and you have an opportunity to come and walk around inside this vault, if you're a golf geek like me, this is heaven. This is absolutely heaven. So thanks for watching. As always, please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, put it down in the comment section below. What putter would you steal out of here? That's what I want to know in the comment section. If you had the opportunity to take one of these, slide it down your pant leg, which one would it be? I'd take Louis 4-iron. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.